you know, this, this question was asked also by one of your other uh, writers. I can't find a balance between this world and the next, deen and akh, dunya and akhirah. I said there is no struggle. Everything we do in this world is for the akhirah if your intention is right. If you're going to work for the right reasons, if you're staying away from evil deeds, if you're remembering Allah when you're supposed to, if you're eating what you're supposed to eat, if you're saying what you're supposed to say, you can live in this world and have a great time and still learn your jannah. Allah doesn't want you to have a horrible time in this world. You know, we, we, I don't know why we have this concept that we have to kind of cut ourselves off from this world to earn Jannah. No, 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 no. You have to make the most of this world to earn Jannah. We have very little time on this earth. I mean, most of my, half of my life is spent sleeping. And the, uh, the, the few hours that I'm awake, take away the time I have to relieve myself, get dressed for work, stay in commute to the job, put in the eight hours at work, and come back. What do I have? Two, three hours of free time, technically free time, that I actually have some control over? How about I make the most of that free time? You know, that, that could change my life. Those few hours that you have free after work, or that commute to work instead of listening to useless news, you know, about the weather and the Dow Jones Industrial Average. How about you listen to something productive in that time? Listen to some Quran, listen to something that will increase your knowledge. Listen to, you know, a good discussion that will help you understand things better. Memorize du'as at that time. Do something more productive. And in, the, in your free time, do, do good things. Make a routine out of going to the masjid regularly. And, you know, every isha, you catch every isha. Before you start your work day, you catch every fajr in the masjid. Add some small good routines in your life and how much good will come out of your life is amazing. Another of your listeners asked, how can I improve my character? Step one, do no harm. Stop doing bad things. Don't talk about adding good deeds until you get rid of bad deeds. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't talk about giving a patient medicine until you stop the bleeding first. It doesn't make any sense. You know, so you got to stop the entertainment addiction. You got to stop the, the, the watching the filth. You got to stop. You got to start lowering your eyes when you're walking down the street because you're becoming less of a human every time you stare at a woman and you stare at her like she's a piece of, a piece of meat, like she's an animal. That just means you've lost respect for a fellow human being. That's, that's all that means. To you, that's nothing, nothing but you're looking at her like a, 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 an ape looks at a female ape. You know, like a dog looks at a female dog. That's all you've turned into an animal. Regain your humanity first and then embellish, purify your life with good deeds. Do simple, small things. Get perfect your prayer, memorize a few supplications, try to, you know, uh, be honest in your workplace. Be kind to your mother. These are not complicated things. This is what the Creator wants from us. That's all but, He wants. But if someone says, why? Why does He want this from me? What, what is it? Is this benefiting Him? That's a great question. Uh, everything Allah wants from us, is, is one of His names is Al-Ghani. Ghani means someone who doesn't need anything. And He told us that in, in an ayah in which He basically told us to do certain things. And He said, well, Ghani, and He's free of need. وَأَنْتُمُ الْفُقَرَاءِ You're the ones that are bankrupt. Now, in that ayah, he doesn't need anything and we need everything because we're bankrupt. And then he told us to do a few good deeds. And if you do a few good deeds, he will make you ghani. He'll make you free of need. He'll give you, shower you with blessings. Not only are good deeds beneficial to us because they in and of themselves are like medicine, but they bring with them bonuses in this world and the next world.